so hey guys in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can create image slider using view pages in jetpack compose so let's get started so first we need to create a new package here screens and let's uh, create a composable function let's say uh, image slider screen okay and composable one image slider screen okay and for image slider we need to create a list so i have already downloading uh, downloading and place in images in the variable folder so you can see two three okay so first we need to create a list so wall images list list of let's say uh, dot driver dot we need to import the resource dot image one dot table dot images two table dot images three uh, dot table dot image four and last image dot image five okay and then we need to create a view page uh, page state so var page state is equal to remember uh, page state okay and we need to pass the size okay so page count page count and image is dot size okay we, uh, this is the experimental ap so we need to import that okay this and okay so we need to define box modifier modifier dot wrap content size comma content alignment uh, alignment dot center okay and we need to define the horizontal view page and pass it state page state okay and then we need to create a row and then we need to pass modifier by dot wrap content size dot padding let's say dot adp we need to import that okay and we need to define two parameters more parameters let's say horizontal arrangement dot center and vertical arrangement alignment alignment dot center vertically okay and we need to define cart modifier dot fill max width dot height let's say 300 dot ap okay and 
and then we need to define image um, painter to painter resource uh, id is equal to images list page okay uh, yep Pages. okay and we need to define content description why is it giving error hold on sorry uh, content description let's say name it none and content scale content uh, crop and modifier modifier dot fill max size okay okay and then we need to define the indicators as well so row modifier dot wrap content height dot fill max speed okay dot uh, align alignment dot bottom center and then we need to define horizontal arrangement arrangement dot center okay and then we need to create uh, indicators inside it so we need to use repeat and then pager state dot page count okay and then let's uh, iterate relation and then wall color is equal to if page state dot current page is equal to, is equal to iteration and color dot black okay else color dot light green okay and we need to create box modifier Uh, dot padding let's say two dot dp dot clip circle shape yes this one and dot background let's say color and dot size let's say 16 dot dp okay So uh, this part is to show the view of images and this part is for the indicator okay now we need to create uh, call this image slider composable inside the main so image slide sorry image slider screen up okay. here so let's run the application
let's wait for the yes it's installed so yes we have created the image slider okay you can customize it uh, uh, according to your your use case okay so if you want to customize it for example let's say using the uh, animation uh, on the pages then you can modify it using the graphic layer so let me show you how you can customize it okay dot graphic layer okay and then so for, for first you need to create a ex extension function so let's say one just it dot of set or page page which will be int type equal to current page minus page plus of set selection okay yep uh, we need to import experimental so here we go okay let's close it and then we need to go back to the graphic layer function and let's say var page offset Table to pager state dot offset for page page okay and one of sc screen right page offset less than zero f okay this will be followed for degree equal let's say 5f 105f and for interpolated equal to past out uh, line fast out linear in uh, raising dot transform page offset dot absolute value okay and uh, rotation y to mean enter let it if of set of screen right then degree else minus degree comma 90 f okay then transform origin is equal to transform origin pivot x uh, if of screen right zero has one f okay pivot by pivot by equal to let's say point five f okay so that's it and let's test it by running the application again
so now let's test it yes it working it's working okay uh, I'm testing it on limited or that's why it's delaying the pages so that's it for this tutorial if you need any help then comment it on this video okay see you in next video okay see ya bye bye